Miller represents one of our biggest projects in BP in the North Sea. Countless people were associated with the project, and in that we've been able to produce 350 million barrels of oil. It's a large platform, 28,000 ton topside, 17,000 ton jacket. It's been shut in since 2007, so it's really about how do we f finish the decommissioning of that asset. I do believe we've been able to come up with a formula that will be successful in this basin. I look forward to working with the contractors as we look to evolve and take the lessons learned from Miller and use it as we move forward with decommissioning activities, not only for BP, but the broader basin. We had uh, Petrofac as our third party duty holder and um, you know, that allowed Petrofac then to kind of operate the platform while the removal contractor Saipem was able to concentrate and focus on you know just on the kind of removal and the heavy lift activities. Within the, uh, the, the Miller context um, a lot of the challenge was to operate um, safely uh, within uh, the legal framework that, that we're obviously governed with but to ensure that we were as efficient as possible. So we tried to navigate that as efficiently as we could. Planning is, uh, was the major part of the, of the campaign. We had a, a team dedicated to all the planning to ensure the whole campaign was smooth. We did some workshops, we got people around the table, we banged heads together, and uh, people sort of came out understanding, right, we, we need to align around a common mission and a common goal. There's been a process from shutting down the platform and um, making it hydrocarbon free um, uh, to the point where you are able to remove it. The solution we uh, tested primarily was a reverse installation or a single lift. The engineering of those lifts is very challenging because the, the lift will be in the cranes for a number of hours while we transit back to shore. In the beginning of 2017, we started our uh, preparation work, so the, the final separation of the modules and converting the platform from a manned facility to an unmanned facility. And we had a little bit of time left that we could actually make a run on a module lift for one transit to shore. We managed to remove the M1 accommodation module on the heli deck uh, safely. It was a good start, but we, we knew that we had something much bigger ahead of us. So we chose uh, Saipam and the S7000 for our, our contractor to do the Miller removal. Great vessel, it's probably one of three vessels in the world that could do this type of work. A very experienced team, uh, they knew the vessel, they knew the limits, and uh, we pushed those limits a bit as we did the lift and carry. The module with the uh, standing up vertical flare on it was the first big module of the campaign and that was the one that gave most people the biggest concern. Everybody was not scared but concerned because they wanted to make sure that the checks were done. We did a lot of analysis to understand the motion and movement of the module and the vessel to make sure that the flare itself wouldn't strike the crane and we concluded that the risk of trying to remove it outweighed leaving it on the module. The sea was a car, so the motor was no moving, and, uh, and, it, and this was a sort of a verification of all the different analysis uh, and studies that, and engineering studies that we've done for two years. So after the, the first uh, few hours, uh, the people were feeling a bit relief. The flare tower was taller than the cranes. Makes for an unusual picture when you see the module in this big flare tower uh, sticking up. It was all done very safely. We had no incidents, uh, accidents, and that's what we, that's what our aim is. We transited it to the uh, disposal yard. We went back and uh, we got uh, another bunch of modules, put them on the deck of the vessel and we then carried the next module. So you basically lift and carry all that you could, make a trip, come back and repeat it. And we did that four times for the top sides. Uh, then the jacket we did in, in one trip. 
the most complex lift and carry actually was the jacket itself because you don't really know how much weight you're going to pick up and we were punching the limit with the lift that we were taking on. We were uh, positioning the S7000 on one side of the jacket and the offshore construction vessel was positioning on the opposite side. At that time, we still had two legs of the jacket still entire and we had to cut the two last uh, leg whilst the S7000 was already connected. We had to ensure that the cutting operation performed with the short construction vessel was short enough because we could not stay with the 7000 with the two big cranes and the, two, and the, and the 700 tons of rigging connected to the jacket too much. Everybody is nervous about the fact that once you've actually cut the jacket and you've got it on the, on the crane, you're at a point of no return. Yeah, we were very pleased to hear that it lifted and it was actually slightly underweight. During the sailing, after the actual affected the, the lift off, the, all the people were actually feeling relaxed because they saw that they noticed that everything was actually happening as per plan. Two years ago when we started this project, there was uh, you know, a big platform out offshore like any other platform. It's surrounded by other platforms out in that area. And, um, and, and then you go back to day and there's just ocean. And, and I think there's something very satisfying actually to that. We've taken everything away. These are difficult jobs to do, dismantling old equipment. And there was a tremendous effort put into how do we keep people safe. Uh, a great team, uh, and that's across not only the, the internal team of Petrofac, but with uh, BP and Saipem as well. The people were actually feeling safe. The people were feeling that they had a chance to report, they had a chance to speak up. I think it's a, a sort of an exemplar and a good benchmark for other projects to learn from and, and move forward in the future, you know, so I think it's, uh, I think it's been pretty landmark. For me, it was my, my first big decommissioning project. I think we want to set um, a good record and transfer that through into to the future jobs. Lots of people uh, working really well and doing some really uh, innovative and creative things to deliver a very, very successful project. The experience of all the team members was probably the, the, the most important thing that we had on this project. Difficult project, done innovatively, done collaboratively, safely, fantastic job. I think uh, the relationship we had with uh, BP, uh, Petrofac and ourselves is something that uh, I think we can all look back on with pride. We've been able to employ technologies, some firsts in the industry, and I genuinely believe that what we've done on Miller has changed the expectations relative to decommissioning and the approach to get it done in an efficient manner.